So it's been a minute. So what I'm going to show you is the rear diffuser. It has not been on the track yet, so I don't know how bad it's going to scrape. I can tell you it scrapes really bad in my driveway, um, but it's a very quick disconnect, and I will just sort of show you how and what I kind of did to make it. So it's pretty simplistic. Um, it's all eighth inch ABS for now. You can see where the bend line is there, and I'll show you when I put it on the car. It's not perfect, as you could probably see the reflection light, but it's pretty good. I essentially just put it over on my welding table and clamped it down to it, because it's actually the same exact width, clamped it down, took a heat gun, and just sort of bent it. Um, and I used that giant level to sort of put it across and apply as much even pressure as I could. Now it's at a 15 degree angle. You can see it's pretty drastic. Um, and again, so everything looked at online, 12 degrees is sort of the max, but it says if you don't have a flat floor, you can get a little more aggressive with it before stalling happens and, and whatnot, right? Obviously I did not do any CFD on this whatsoever. Um, and I do not have a flat floor. So we're just gonna see what happens and we'll go from there. So what made it a little more difficult was as I cut my fins, I essentially used L angle and attached it that way. There are definitely some better ways I could have done this, um, right? If I had something that was big enough, I could have just made this end here bend over. I just knew I wouldn't be able to do a good enough job with it. So either way, eighth inch ABS, uh, that's eighth inch L angle, aluminum L angle, which is rivets shot through it. I made like a rivet pattern for it. I cut a hole here for the tow hook just in case, and I'll get to that in a minute, in case I wanted to bring this up even higher. And otherwise, it's got four quick button quick disconnects. This L angle here, when I put this across, which is also, this is three quarter by three quarter eighth inch, which is the same I use in all that. Um, it made this way sturdier. If I put one in the back too, I'm sure it'd be even more sturdy, but without taking the bumper off. The only thing the bumper's held on right now by, you can see it's sort of sagging pretty bad there. Um, I need to get some quick disconnects probably here. I'll probably install them just so I can attach it. Otherwise, all it's held in right now is by the screws on the edges. Um, and that's why it kind of just falls back. But once there's a quick disconnect in here, I'll, high, I'll make it you know high enough and to the point where it actually brings that back up. When the diffuser's on, it does do that. So it's better than nothing, but yeah. So at the current moment in time, what I've got is, if you can see, this is where your... Some of you, depending on your model, either have the sway bar bracket here, or in my case, this is the spot where the actual old tie downs to tie down to the boat would be, and I added a quick disconnect here. Now, all this is, is really just a piece of bent L angle with the quick disconnect there. You can see it, it does move, it's pretty rigid. It's eighth inch, just homemade stuff. I could have, if I was to make this something, I could you know make it a little bit better. And then right here, there's a piece of cable. Let's see if I can, it's probably pretty hard to see, but essentially just put a rib nut into the frame and added a cable for some extra strength. Again, gonna be probably pretty hard, but you'll get the idea. There it is. There's a piece of L angle here. There's two of them with the quick disconnects there. And essentially I just put a rib nut in the frame and you can see there, I added a couple extra holes, right? So that way the bracket can go up, it can go down, and then you've got the adjustment of the quick disconnect. And I say that because my bumper is not cut at the black trim. Now some people, if I ended up making this something, I wanted to have some provisions, and we'll get to that a little bit later, but uh, if the black is cut on some of these bumpers, like some folks do, that L angle that's there, since it's got some holes in it, you could essentially move it higher up, which would be able to pick it up more. You have to definitely do something with the exhaust. As you can see, my exhaust no longer comes out of that port. This is pretty crude. Um, that's, I'm going to make a beauty plate that just sort of bolts and goes around this and looks a little bit nicer. But for the current moment, this is where we are sitting. And you can see, if you didn't already, it just kind of comes back over the axle back like that and comes straight out. Now, that L angle down there and the one in the middle, it's basically replicated on the opposing side. Um, so it's all quick disconnect. The only thing that has to get put on is these, which is using these big body washers to essentially do those cables. So I'm just gonna put the camera over here and you can see essentially how long it takes to put on and off. It's not very time consuming. It is pretty true disconnect uh, and it's pretty stable. I'll show you once it's on. 
and I can't get out of my driveway with it, which I'll insert a picture. So I'm happy this is a quick disconnect setup. So let's. So it's slid under the car. We're just gonna. There's one side. Probably could have saw the bumper kind of went up a little bit there. And then there's four. So that's pretty, it's definitely more stable in the middle, but the, especially this edge has a little bit. But now, here's where I will just, I'm gonna take one washer, put it on the actual hanger, and then I'll take a washer and a nut and go on the underside. So, right, I've got this hanging. I'm gonna put a washer now on the side of this and then feed it through the hole right there. Ignore that one with the yellow, that was a misdrill. So now you can see it's sticking through a little bit. There's not much. So now I'm just gonna essentially push up on it. Once it's caught. Right. And then again, that nut is just there because I was trying to make it a little adjustable, but it's not necessary in this case. Um, and then if I go here, and I mean, I push, I mean, it's pretty sturdy. So I have some deflection a little bit. Provision that was added, right? Well, that we kind of thought about. If I wanted this back here to come up higher, um, I could, right? Because there's just two nuts. That's got to pick the quick disconnect up and adjust it, and that'll adjust that height. And that's sort of how I based off making my cable that's in here. Um, and you should be able to see I've got it going right up to my ASR bar and right up. It's like almost level with the lower control arm, right? That's how low this thing sits. Um, so, I mean, you can see how it drags on my driveway, or you could imagine. But, yeah. I mean, that's sort of it in a nutshell. The only thing, like I said, I gotta do is add some quick disconnects here to the bumper, just to pick it up, just to help it. I mean, it's, with it sitting on top of the diffuser and as high as I've got it, I mean, it's not going anywhere, but I would just like it to be a bit more safe. <laughs> that's it really in a nutshell. I think the game plan would be to make it out of metal. Um, but the ABS right now is holding up. I'll use it as a test piece, see how bad it drags, if it drags at all. It definitely drags in the driveway. I know in the hairpins at the track, it'll probably hit, but time will tell. So next conversation piece. This is all a talking video, so I apologize. But that's the diffuser in a nutshell. I don't know if I'm essentially going to try to sell it or not. And you say sell. So here's the other big piece of news. Um, forever I've been asked, if I'm gonna make certain things like the fenders and stuff like that. And the answer is eventually yes, just not yet. I need to just be more comfortable with it for what I like of the design. Could you technically put them in your car now? Yes, they're, it fits on my car. Um, and I'll show you some things I don't like about them maybe, but they're pretty good. Moral of what I'm saying, or point of this is, I decided finally to maybe make some products to sell. And I opened up a little thing going by the name of Speed Circuit Design. I went back and forth over and over and over of names, went back and forth with buddies. Everyone's got names. And I just got tired of it and I settled on that, but I absolutely do like it. So with that said, 
if you follow me on Instagram or wherever else maybe you saw, I did a group buy for these wing mounts. So as you've probably seen, they've been on my car. I've been to the track with them twice now. Um, and there's a little product placement sticker, if you will. I like the spot that it goes. Um, well, since I decided now to make a little business name, I'm gonna start making some products and see what I can pump out to you guys. It's gonna be tough, but uh, the group I was successful and I bought a couple extras and essentially just I took whatever I made from that and I just put it back into some extras. But all here, I started packing some up. I need to actually like, you know, put stuff in here, etc. but the billet mounts are here. I started packing all the required hardware you're gonna need, the rib nuts, the bolts, etc. And the uprights are underneath. I got a stack of uprights there and the rest of the built mounts elsewhere. But, and then I had some stickers made. So because this is a CRX specific, you know, thing, I decided maybe they'll like a sticker or if you bought one, there it is. These two are just for whatever. And then I made, or I had this one made, which is like the product placement sticker, do whatever you want with it. But you saw where I put mine and that was my idea behind it. So as soon as I shipped these, uh, I sold 10 of them. So if you're one of those 10, I cannot wait to get it to you. So after those 10 go out, I will throw, I have a couple more that I can put up for sale on the site. Um, yes, I did increase the cost uh, from what the group buy was. I guess you can count that as like, you got a deal when you jumped in the group buy. Um, so I brought up the diffuser, right? This is a very niche or niche market having a CRX and especially doing this stuff with it. So am I gonna make the diffuser? I don't know. I mean, I, I have all the dimensions, everything I did. I could absolutely make it out of metal. Uh, that's what I would do as opposed to ABS. For a product, uh, would it be cheap? That's you know debatable, right? So, going back and forth with products, I guess the next thing, what I sort of did and it was kind of tough, was the hood louvers. People a hundred times about those, and I bought them from an awesome CRX dude named Morgan. Um, the original ones. It is really difficult to redesign hood louvers, so I did base everything off of his. I looked online for tons of different designs, but I absolutely love the way these were. So really, you can kind of, I added a little, I kept some material there, added some little different design there, uh, made it a little bit wider. This one, there is definitely, it's probably hard to tell, but there's absolutely a pretty aggressive angle on this now, which I kind of aim to match the hood line a little bit for the CRX specifically. And same thing, these are a bit wider. It's a little bit different than the original ones I had on there that I bought. Um, but this is probably gonna be the next thing I'm going to sell. And then again, that little product placement thing, I made sure it could fit there too. Um, there is that I have, right? So the hood louvers, people always ask, I was like, maybe I'll just sell my own. I went back and forth. I do have another, I drew the same thing up instead of having four in a row. I made it where it's three in a row. If you wanted a little bit shorter, we'll see how that goes. I mean, I've got tons of simple ideas. I just need to get enough, get going so I can actually have some stuff. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I thought about making, maybe not exactly like this, but something similar that just so you can put arrow catch uh, hood pins on as opposed to just drilling right into your bracket there. Something small, simple. Uh, that's what it is. Eventually I'll get to these fenders and, and maybe a, my splitter at the current moment is not a quick disconnect and it drags and gets beat up on my driveway, put it on the trailer. So I might just attack that next. Hood louvers and then maybe a slightly more quick disconnectable front splitter for us that'll mount uh, similar for just maiming at CRX is the moment I'll eventually get to some other stuff so I'm open anybody's got any ideas or stuff that I can make that people are interested in that either I already have on the car or just a product that doesn't exist or maybe I can make the product a little bit cheaper uh, we'll see but and this is a weird video as there's really nothing to to show you except that is how I made the diffuser or just you kind of got an idea of it Again, if that's something that I'm gonna make, we'll see. I might make myself one first out of aluminum and refine the process just a little bit more than what it is, but uh, we'll go from there. So I know it hasn't, it's been like 35 days since I posted a video. Next winter track day, I skipped the last one, but it's in January, I think January 12th, 13th. I'm gonna try to go to that just to test this diffuser. Mainly what I wanna test is a couple of things. One, does the car understeer more than it already did? at like 60 plus miles an hour. If it does, then I'm gonna, if it's like really noticeable, then I'm gonna guess the car is, or the diffuser's doing something, and then I can maybe take some AOA out of the wing. If I don't notice anything, then I'll probably just keep it on the car for just pure looks. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's that. If it scrapes, it scrapes, we'll go from there. It is definitely low. If worst case scenario, all I would do is just 
shrink some of the fins instead of making them as long as they are, just make them a little bit shorter. But that's really it. Appreciate everybody for watching. Any questions, comments, concerns, if you guys are looking to follow my other page for whatever products I'm gonna be doing, it is just an Instagram page that I created called Speed Circuit Design. And uh, that's it for now. So tune in next time for whatever we are gonna be doing. I appreciate every single one of all of you guys. See you guys.